Hey, you're back. You know, there's another case Nick never got around to wrapping up. Track. down one Earl Sterling. Check it out if you're interested. The Earl Sterling case. Apparently Earl... Read Earl Sterling. Case notes. Security was called in. Organization of course. The Institute took him as the unofficial word about town like always. Fudum came to my office, half drunk with a sob story about how he and Earl went way back and I just can't believe that Earl would get snatched up by the boogeyman. My gut says he's right. Earl didn't have any enemies, at least none with motive enough to kill the guy, not living with anyone either, so I'll have to see if Adam or someone else at the dugout has his keys. I'd rather not have to explain to security why I was picking the lock on Earl's door if I slip up and get caught in the act. I'll just up and disappear. <coughs> no one's seen him since. Oh, I'll find him. Maybe. Somewhere. Sometime. We'll go to the dugout first. I can't turn off music. Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout. And that's the booze. And that's the booze. I only buy booze here. Who needs food when you got booze? Jim, I need to talk. Just a minute, get him. I am in middle of story. So then, I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. <clears throat> when out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk. A mire lurk? You Come on. on. We That's need like to two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and talk to Jack. <coughs> I know you're coming. Jesus, bar. I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I uh, forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. Anyway, you look like you need a drink. Don't need anything today. Come back later, then. I will. I will. Gonna go look for your buddy, mister. Mr. Russian. I think he's Russian. I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and everyone forgets he's a freaking. Searching for clues. If you keep hoarding that garbage, you're going to slow us down. See this silver table knife dance? I have somewhere I can put it if you don't knock it off. A yellow fedora? Yes, please. Mm. 
Mega Surgery Center, Dr. Crocker, resident surgeon. One reconstruction surgery, facial, procedure to be performed upon clearance of final installment payment. Patient Erling Sterl. That's right, you can change your face in this game. Bobby pen. Greaser jacket and jeans? Yes, please. Call them next week, next Sunday. I'm a lot better. You see that big blimp? What kind of What's the you Brotherhood ask? of Steel? Why are they here? Doctor. A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Do you know anything about this receipt? Please. I really don't have time to deal with complaints or refunds right now. Dr. Crocker handles those questions. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. Where is Doc Crocker? I'm a doctor, not a secretary. Mm -hmm. No, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Gonna pass. Let me know if that changes. Yes, sir. There's an awful lot of blood leading into the surgery center basement. <laughs> Try and find a way down there. Hey, Doc. Don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. Care to explain all this blood leading to the cellar? This is a medical facility. It's not unusual for there to be some blood here or there. My partner must have forgotten to clean up. Again. I'm not good at now, this. Uh... Let's get back to talking about your medical needs. I need thing. to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? You know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You know, so unless you have something pre- Could a hundred caps change your mind? A hundred caps? To visit our basement? Well, I guess there wouldn't be any harm. All right. Here, the key. Just Thank don't you, touch sir. anything down there. Understand? The super salon can give you the hairstyle of your dreams. Let's go down here. Uh-oh. Let's down in the basement with the blood. Oh, Earl. You've... You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Doctor? Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. <coughs> it, was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life. So you were performing surgery and Earl didn't make it. Is that it? I uh, might have had just a bit of jet before operating. So I nipped a few arteries I shouldn't have. Who hasn't? But I'm a problem solver, you see. I knew if Earl disappeared, everyone would just think the Institute took him. You killed a man, Doctor. You're gonna pay for it. Mm -hmm. Put the gun down and come with me. I'll be surprised if he surrenders peacefully. No. No one can find out. No one can find out! What's going on here? Is, is that Dr. Crocker? It was. <laughs> Looks like it'll be a closed casket funeral. I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. See for yourself. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? 
the, the facial reconstruction. So he really did go through with it. That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this, this is inhuman. You didn't know. It's not your fault. Of course it's not my fault. <coughs> that moron and his damn appearance over practice mentality. Now two lives have been lost. It's disgraceful. I better report all this to security. Get out of here. It's going to take a long time to clean this place of biohazards. Okay, steal anything? Would you like that? I'd really like your, uh... You don't really have anything. He took the honorable way out. He attacked me, man. He attacked me. That's honorable? I'm a lady! Or do you forget? So, you find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? <laughs> Rotting in a cell, I hope. It was him or me. I had to put him down. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout end know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks if again only. for closing if this only. one out. Oh, I always forget to... Wait, I maxed up my strength. I don't remember if this is forever. I forgot to open up my, uh... Whatever that thing's called. Text document. <coughs> of where I'm putting points for this character. Mm. Yeah, doing pretty good, I think. I know that's the wrong thing. Wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Opening it up with an expired Office 360 Word document. Word, okay. I don't want it. Okay, so let's see. That's right. Idiot Savant. Can I get more Idiot Savant? No, 34. I'm 21, so that is a bit. Moving target. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that, that, that. That or that. Next level. Pain train. Melee unarmed damage. Renew. Blitz. Can I level up Blitz? We do ninja, or I could probably level up endurance. So I'm a little more survivable. Hmm, not a massive skeleton, ghoulish, cannibal. Why not? We'll put it in endurance. Okay. What up? A special delivery. Oh, yeah, that's that. No. Do we have. No. Okay. So we should try and find a. Uh... Hazmat suit. Because that'll let us go with the main quest. It's been a bit since we've done that. Though I would like to buy. They sell just about everything, but none of it is scrap. 
Sure. I've got a few minutes to browse. What's that shady guy doing in the back? See him? It's definitely shady back there. Any stem packs? I want some stem packs. Oh, dang. Can I buy that many? I don't know. Combat rifle. I'm keeping the Furious Power Fist. Selling that. Molotov cocktail. And that. Agatha's dress. I forget what that one is. It's been so long. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Not selling any of that. Still not enough. Cancel trade. Okay. Hey, that's. Hey. I need all the crap I gave you. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Hand tooled pieces. Wait, did I take your weapon? Of trade for all Diamond City right here. No, you got your weapon. Oh. Every piece in here is worth what I charge for it. No arguments. Sure. You're testy. Let's take a look. Here's what we What's got. that guy behind me doing? He's like freaking me out, man. He's like up to something. He's up to something. Okay. So. So I'll have coat. Intelligence. Ooh. If I'm not wearing it. Get rid of it. So that's welding goggles and stuff. Because that's cool. <coughs> Missile launcher, lots of cocktail, muzzled, muzzled. Um, unlimited ammo capacity. Got 154 shells. I'll keep it. Uh, keep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh no. I want something back. Yeah, I saw him that. No way in. No way. Okay. Aid. Let's see how many we can get. Uh, yeah. Even though I need it's a I care cares about you. All your Hazmat suit. Here for new clothes? Hey Becky. You keep coming back. I might have to start giving you fashion advice. No, -uh, girlfriend. I've got a few minutes to browse. Clothes make the person, right? Hush your mouth. Okay, let's do the main quest. Been a bit. I think you've been focusing on uh, side quests for a few, but I feel confident that we will die. Oh, I haven't been there. Okay, no, remove marker. The Brotherhood of Steel now. To cure addiction, visit a doctor in any major settlement.
Look at all those drugs. Or pharmaceuticals, sorry. Pharmaceuticals. Jet, Medex, Jet, Stimpak, Radaway, Buff Out, Mentats. Oh, that's Radex. Watch out! Got a sword! If I had lock picking, I could get that two handed axe. It's an ambush, I think. Okay, why not? She's right back here. Hurry. Safety's off. We're about to have company. Sword with my name well, with your name on it. Hey there. If I kill her, well I'm I surprised get... this place hasn't been stripped clean. Hey, hey. I'm gonna kill her. Well I did kill her. These people have been stripped clean. Feeling a bit nostalgic? Shut your mouth, Dance! I will cut you and radiate you. And then you'll probably kick my butt because you're in power armor and I do not. I like that in cruise. Nah, yeah, go and do one. Oh well. Oh, look at that. I don't know what that is, but ooh, yeah. Duct tape? It's a pack of duct tape. Oh! So happy. Reminds me of 200 years ago. No way. Came out this way. Oh, they're gonna kill us. Blah, 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 blah. Went inside. Inside here. Okay. <coughs> Take the back and the vodka. And the jet. Why not? And the men's hats. Why not? Is any of this better? No. Put the weapon though. That's worth a pretty penny. Okay, I looted him and this person. Sorry dudes, if you didn't try to jump me, you would have lived longer. But you're not smart. Probably why you're raiders. Killed you a dumb. I think it'd be pretty cool if you could uh, join the raiders, like a raiders faction on here, and like raid towns and all that stuff. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I know this may. No, I don't want to go inside. Dance, you tricked me. You tricked me, dance.
Hey. If you have the time to talk now, I'd still like <coughs> to know what you think about Scribe Halen. Scribe Halen? Why? Is something wrong with her? No, not at all. Halen's doing well. I simply wanted to talk to you about her, but I wanted to know what you thought of her first. She's as dedicated as they come. A real team player. I couldn't agree more. But I wasn't looking for an evaluation of her performance as a scribe. I wanted to know what you thought of Halen as a person. As a person? It's not like you to ask me something like that. No, it's not. The truth is, I'm worried about her. As that's really Since you and I are getting along so well, I felt like I could confide in you about it. To get your honest opinion. I appreciate that you value my opinion so highly. Tell me what's on your mind. Let me explain everything from the beginning. We have a baby! A few months before you found us, one of my men was shot multiple times by raiders. Halen stayed by that knight's side for two days straight, without sleep, fighting to keep him alive. But he was on a slow decline. I decided that his suffering needed to end, and ordered Halen to administer an overdose of painkillers so he could die with dignity. Even though I'm certain she wanted to continue fighting for that knight's life. She injected him without question. She did the right thing. Of course she did. But the decision whether or not to ease that soldier's suffering isn't the point here. What is the point that, is what happened later that same evening. Halen approached me while I was on watch. She didn't say a word, but I could tell something was wrong. After what felt like an eternity, she collapsed into my arms, crying. I didn't know what to do, so I just held her for a while. A few minutes later, she stopped, kissed me on the cheek, and simply said, thank you, before heading back into the police station. Ooh. Right then it hit me. Maybe I pushed her too hard. I ordered her to ignore her instincts, to do something her medical training told her was wrong. <coughs> That's why I'm worried about her, and for that matter, Everyone under my command. Halen will be fine. It's you that I'm worried about. Me? I see what you're getting at. I guess I never thought of it that way. Look, four soldiers. Over half of my team are gone. Each one of them died because of decisions that I made. I understand the risks that come with the job. We all do. But how can anyone have confidence in me anymore? Hell. How can I have confidence in myself? If it makes you feel better, I believe in you. Actually, it does. Well, it looks like things have taken a turn. <laughs> I signed up to be a sponsor, so I teach you everything that I know. But it looks like I'm the one that needed the lesson today. All joking aside, I'm pleased that we had this discussion. And with all the problems you're facing, you still took the time to listen. It's